Evolution is very complex because uh, it starts with the evolution of the universe itself and uh, the celestial bodies including stars and planets which became the agents for the transmission of human souls into their physical bodies. So if you find a dead body or the remains of a dead body, uh, whatever science you can use cannot tell you the whole story because the universe is a living organism consisting of parts that are interconnected, interrelated and integrated into one whole. So you can reconstruct uh, uh, that to find the origins of humanity from the skeletons and the fossils. Okay, now is Homo naledi our ancestor? It is absolutely not. At the beginning of uh, creation, there were many species, diverse, some still, ex uh, some still alive, some extinct, and uh, it's not possible to find a connecting link between species by looking at the skeletons, because the skeletons are dry, dead, and they tell no story. That's why in the case of, of Homo naledi, we are told that they cannot even date them, so they can't even factor them into the chain of evolution that uh, is uh, uh, proposed. Now, Dr. Mutseka, I hear you. I hear some of your objections, but the scientists responsible for the discovery have been very clear to describe Homo naledi as an ancestor for all human beings, not only Africans. No, that is just uh, a view, because if it was uh, an ancestor for all human beings, they would be supporting evidence <coughs> that there were great migrations from Gauteng into Asia, into Europe. There's no such evidence. The only evidence of uh, human migrations from the cradle of humanity at the source of the Nile are recorded in several hermetic books of African origin, which include the divine Pamanda, uh, the Kore Cosmos, which means the Virgin of the World, uh, and also the Corpus Hermeticum, which is uh, also called the Hermetica. Now, the West suppressed these books and never put them into circulation because they tell a story different from their story. So let's open the debate, let them come with this Darwinian theory and let's come with the ancient African literature which is uh, showing how the whole, where the whole universe and humanity came from. Why should we look at one version and not all the versions? Okay, so now why do you say that human origins cannot be traced from the animal kingdom? It will be an incomplete story because human uh, evolution is uh, intertwined with the evolution of the entire universe. Okay. Now, is there any supporting material? I know you mentioned some of these books, but w what, are, what are the real supporting materials for these assertions? The real supporting material is contained in books that are still existing, locked up in uh, Western uh, archives and libraries, and some of these books are the ones that uh, I've mentioned. At the Kara Heritage Institute, we, we, we have these books and uh, we read them, but you will never find reference to them except that they are pagan uh, literature. Africa has a much older uh, history and civilization that is documented or inscribed in stones, on the pyramids and everywhere. And this is the information that tells the most ancient and true story about the origins of the universe and humanity. And this is 
is suppressed instead of that we are given uh, skeletons of baboons and we are told that we descend from uh, baboons it's not true okay now in my view the african scientific information that you keep on mentioning um how old is it uh, it is uh, more than 36,000 years uh, before the uh, so-called Christian era. Okay, so you have the objections and you're saying that we need to begin this debate or to kickstart this debate on uh, the, the whole, uh, the, the, the notion of human evolution. We need the debate which is fair and balanced in the sense that uh, let the Western materialist scholars give the same uh, space uh, to the African spiritual worldview. For instance, now, the Western materialist scholars would be given millions, but the African researchers uh, will not be given uh, any money so that even the, uh, the playing field is not uh, level. Okay, I take your point. Thank you very much indeed. Dr. Matole Monseca is the executive director of the Kara Heritage Institute and he's the M an MP for the African National Congress.